Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Martina and this is my channel, The Holiday Workshop. Today's video is a collaboration and the theme is Mr. McGregor's Garden. So I decided to make a Peter Rabbit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also give my video a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. And if you want to know how I made him, then just keep on watching. This video is a part of the Mr. McGregor's Garden themed collaboration hosted by Tracy from Tracy Vanover Designs and Dawn from Shep Meets Bling. There are several super creative creators joining in on this collaboration so make sure to check out the playlist. Links to the hosts and to the playlist is in the description. I printed out this picture of a cute bunny to use as reference. The first thing I did was to mark out sort of a skeleton for him. Then I cut out all the pieces from aluminum wire. I made each piece double to make it stronger. Next, I attached the arms and legs to the body. I used a bit of hot glue to hold everything in place until it was completely wrapped. Then I wrapped everything with a couple of layers of pipe cleaners. Next, I cut strips of batting and added it to the body by wrapping it. I used a felting needle to lock in the ends. I continued adding layers of this until I was happy with the size of the body.
Then it was time for the wool. This is very repetitive and I added a little bit of wool at a time and slowly built up the shape of the bunny. It's a lot easier to add more than to remove wool, so I did this a little bit at a time. I started with building up the basic shapes of each part of the bunny and then I added more and more details. This is a great tool for using several needles at a time. I like to use two needles with this tool, but you can use as many as six if you want to depending on the project. I like to use only two because it's a lot faster than using one, but I still have almost the same amount of control over the details as with one. I realized that I made his arms too short, so I removed all the wool and batting from them and added more wire. Then I built them up with batting and wool again.
To create his eyes, I printed out two sets of eyes with different sized pupils. I decided to use the ones with bigger pupils. I cut them out and then I used Mod Podge to glue on these glass cabochons on top of them. Then I let them dry completely. To make the ears, I first made a paper template for the size and shape. Then I used my felting needle to shape the wool accordingly to the template. Then I added white wool to the front side of the ears. Then I made another ear the same way as the first one. When I was happy with the shape, I added them to the back of the bunny's head. I added more wool to help secure them and to hide any seams. Next I made his little tail and added it to his body.
Next I cut out the eyes. Then I add a black felt where the eyes will go. I also made indentations for the eyes for a more realistic placement. Then I glued the eyes in place using hot glue. Then I made eyelids. I used reference pictures for adding the different colors to the face. Next I built up the nose and mouth area. Then I added the details, first by using the needle and then by adding white and black wool.
Then it was time to make his little jacket. I started out by sketching out all the pieces and then taking his measurements. Then I made the pattern for the jacket. Next I cut out all the pieces from a thin cotton fabric. A light blue linen fabric would be perfect for this, but I didn't have any so I'm using this instead. Thank you. 
Then I sew all the pieces together as shown. Then I tried out the jacket and figured out how much I wanted to shorten the sleeves. Next I made a collar for his jacket. I had a seam allowance for this, but I realized later on that I shouldn't have.
After sewing the collar in place, I also top stitched it on the right side of the jacket. When sewing around the edges of the jacket, I used two seams, one about a centimeter from the edge and then one about a millimeter from the edge. I decided to hand stitch the sleeves because they are so tiny. I made two seams along the sleeves just as with around the edge of the jacket. To color the jacket, I used acrylic paint and mixed them to the shade I wanted. Then I added a little bit of water and soaked the jacket in it for a little while. Then I squeezed out as much of the colored water as possible and then let the jacket dry. Do not rinse the jacket because then you will lose a lot of the color. I used this way of coloring because this is not meant as a toy and the jacket won't be washed. Otherwise you should use real fabric dye. The last thing I did was to add a little bit of dry pastels to the ears to make them slightly pink. And then I also added a little bit of brown to the jacket to dirty it up a bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.